Welcome back everyone. Today I'll be doing CSEC Mathematics January 2022 question 9. This is a trigonometry and circle theorem question. The question reads as follows. The diagram below shows a circle with points P, Q, R and S lying on its circumference. As you can see, these points are on the circumference and its center marks O. This is a center and RP is a diameter of the circle. So RP is a diameter of the circle. This is RP and then AB is a tangent to the circle. So tangent, this is AB, and that is a tangent to the circle at point P. Now the angle APQ, that's 3x APQ, and then we have the angle QPR. So let's find QPR. And this is 2x degrees. And then angle RPS. RP, not here, but RPS. That's RPS. And finally, we have angle QSP. That's 54 degrees. Let's find this. So this is the angle 54, which is QSP. Now we have some unknowns to find. Determine the value of each of the following angles. And you know, we need to show reasoning. Why we did this, you know? So let's look at x. We need to find out what is x. Identifying that we have 3x, we have 2x, and we have x. But when we have a line and it's a tangent to the circle and we have the diameter. It forms 90 degrees. So here I have a 90 degrees angle. So it means that 3x plus 2x will be equal to 90 degrees. That's information I know for sure. So for angle OAP, OAP, it forms a 90 degree angle. So it means that 2x plus 3x is equal to 90. And from this, I will be able to find out what is x. So 2x plus 3x, that gives me 5x is equal to 90 degrees. And then divide both sides by 5. So this cancels, so I'll have x is equal to 18 degrees. So here I have my value for x. Now I need to find out y, the value of y, and given reasons, why do I have the following? Now for y, I know that angle in a semicircle is a 90 degree angle. And uh, if you look at RSP, that angle forms 90 degrees. Because based on the fact that I have a semicircle, you know, RP is a diameter, it goes straight through the origin. So the angle that's formed, RSP, will be 90 degrees. I know X, X is 18 degrees, so we can find Y. So it means that the triangle RSP will add to give me 180 degrees because sum of interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So it means 90 plus y plus x will be equal to 180 degrees. And I am aware that x is 18. So replacing there, and I have plus y plus 18 equal 180 degrees. And just carry the 90 and the 18 degrees over to my right. 
So there will be a sign change. So y is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 18. So y is equal to subtracting to get 72 degrees. And that's it. The next one is to find out what is z, and this is pretty easy because here angle subtended by a chord, and the chord will be sp at the circumference of a circle and standing on the same arc are equal. So angle r is 72 that is srp 72 then it means angle sqp will be the same which is z so z will be 72 because they these two they are on the same arc and it's also subtended by the chord sp if you realize they're on the same chord sp so if this is 72, then here will also be 72. So there you go. Z is equal to 72. And that's it. So here we have a trigonometry question. The diagram below shows straight roads connecting the towns L, M, N, and R. LR is 18 kilometers and we have LN which is 12 kilometers so that's 18 LN is 12 kilometers and then the final one MN is 10 kilometers the angle RLN is 25 so we have RLN that's 25 and uh, N M L that's 88. Now we need to calculate the angle M L N. Let me just draw this red line. So this is M L N. I need to find out what's the angle there. Now I have two sides, one angle, and I'm finding another angle, so that means I have to use sine rule. Now, I am going to redraw this. So, this side that is facing the angle M, it's going to be common M. And then this side will be common L. So, the angle that it face, we give it the name of that letter that is it is facing. So, sine rho is going to be common L over sine of capital L, where capital L is the angle and common L is the side. And then it's going to be equal to common M over sine capital M. And once again, common M is the side and capital M is the angle. Now, for this, common L, I will have 10. I'm trying to find capital L, so I'm going to leave it as it is. That represents the angle. And common M, that's 12. So I replace here to be 12. All over capital M, sine of capital M. So that's sine of 88 degrees. Now, having this, I'm going to cross multiply to get rid of a fraction. So we are going to have 10 times sine 88 is equal to 12 times sine L, sine capital L. We have to distinguish that it's the capital L, which is the angle. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 12. So I just do one calculation. You don't have to. You could have worked out 10 times sine 88. So the 12 cancels. And then we have sine L and work out 10 times sine 88 divided by 12. And rounding it out to get 0 0.8328. That's four decimal place. Once you, you know, want to get rid of sine, we have to do the sine inverse. 
once it goes over is sine inverse. So we have the sine inverse of 0 0.8328. So my angle will be 56.4 degrees. And this will represent the angle MLN. That's it. Now let's put the 56.4 degrees that I just found. And in this question, I need to calculate the length, well, the distance in R. But put in the 56.4 first. And then I continue. So the distance in R, this is it. This is my unknown. This is what I'm trying to find. So I'm going to redraw this diagram so that you can clearly see the triangle. Now this side is going to be common L and here will be common N and here I'll have common R. So I have two sides, one to another side and have one angle. So I'll be using cosine rule. Now because of the letters that's given, I am going to write the cosine rule in terms of that. So I'll have L square is equal to r square plus n square minus 2 rn cos capital L where capital L represents the angle. Substituting the information that I have, I'm trying to find L so it remains as common L square but it's equal to r square, which is 12 square. So I have my 12 square. Plus 18 squared because n is 18. And then I will have minus 2 rn. So I'll have minus 2 r. And then R is 12, N is 18, followed by, I will have cos capital L, so that's cos 25. Now from here, I'm just going to calculate. You can calculate how you're comfortable with. I am going to work out. What is 12 square, 18 square, 2 times 12 times 18, and cos 25. So 12 square is 144. Followed by finding 18 square, that is 324. So 18 square, that's 324. Then... After doing this, I have my minus sign and multiply 2 times 12 times 18. That's going to give me 432. Also, I will find cos 25, which is 0 0.906. So that's cos 25. Now, working this out, L square is equal to 76.61. So just working out all of this to give me 76.61. Please note, you can say 432 times 0 0.906. Get your answer. Then you say 144 plus 324 minus your answer. Now, we square root both sides to get rid of square. And the square root in both sides, we have L is equal to 8.75 kilometers. The final question, we need to determine the bearing of tone R from tone L. Now, just a reminder that we have MLN, that's 56.4 degrees. We're going to need it here because if I want the bearing from from L, it means I need to calculate the angle that is created from the North Pole to the line LR. 
So it means I need to add up all the angles, 50 plus 56.4 degrees plus 25, and that will give me the angle. So my answer here will be 131.4 degrees, and that's the bearing. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and remember part 2 complex numbers is coming next week.